South, southeast. Okay. So, south, southeast. Basically the direction I'm facing right now. South, southeast. Convenient. Keep calm. Why can't there be a puppy version? Eh. This cat design is vague enough that it can almost be a puppy, honestly. Although cats and puppies are vague enough to all look like each other a little bit. Or more accurately, babies of all forms are just designed to be universally cute. Engine powering up. It serves two purposes. One, if you're a baby and you're cute, then uh, your parents are more likely to care about you. And that's important, obviously. So if your parents care about you, they're more likely to protect you from danger and keep you alive and also defend you from all the dangerous things that will come after you because you're a stupid baby and uh, babies scream and other shit babies are really bad at surviving generally but they're also bad at that helping the people that protect them survive because they just scream and do other shit that's bad so being cute is really effective as a mechanism for making sure that your parents actually don't kill you or abandon you and whatnot because uh, cavemen don't really care about the survival of the species as like a existential concept. They just they just care about themselves more so. That's a bit of a of a large scale thing to think about. Generally speaking, I don't really see the entrance. I'll just keep poking around. Where is the dragon? It's just gone. I kind of wanted to try to scan it, but I'm kind of terrified of trying to get near it. How many of you are on me right now? Yeah, two already, of course. Wish I knew where I was trying to go. They said south, southeast. I guess those cave entrances might be it. Hey, buddy. No. <laughs> oh, they're all coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really wish I could get them off. Alright. I mean, we just gotta explore, basically. Oh, no. There's seven of them already. They're just gonna keep coming, too. We just gotta keep poking around. I don't know where the, uh, sea dragon went, which is scary. See, that's a cave. Let's check that cave out. A lot of collision sounds. Woohoo. Oh, there's one. Look at you. Oh, he's booking it through that cave. Is he gonna come within range at all? There he goes. But he was in this cave. That's where he went. Oh. Those guys are around too. There's the Reaper Leviathan skeleton. There's more of these assholes. Lots of you guys. Did you just latch on? Of course you did. You guys are all around. Where did he come from? Oh, that one's really infected. Come on, warpers, do your job. That is quite a sound. I can't see him. Getting a little bit more of that ocean fear, because you can't see your surroundings very well around here. I went south-southeast. 
Didn't find shit. Why, where were you for a while? I think the game might have lost him. I think I think he despawned and the game had to reload him. Like I think he got stuck, like he died or got out of bounds or something. Cause he just came swooping in from this direction, but it looks like there's nowhere to go, right? I'll take a look around, I guess. It totally looks like there's nowhere to go around here. Oh my god. There's ten of them. It's like a Christmas tree. You assholes. Alright. Hope he doesn't notice me. I gotta explore, but I can't... I cannot handle this area with this vehicle right now. Ooh. There's some more kyanite here. Don't see him right now. This is a dead end. That's probably not where I'm supposed to go. And he seemed to come out of this wall, like, literally. So... Yeah, I think the game just loaded him in, and he had to come in through this cave. Because, like, something... He, like, disappeared or something. Whoa. That's interesting, huh? Atmosphere kind of changed colors. Maybe I can follow the lava flows downward or something? That'd be an interesting idea to try. This weapon has deceptive range. You can use it from further away than you would think. I heard that. I, don't, I can't see them, though. What if... What an inherently frustrating enemy. Not only does it eat away at your battery, which is one of your core concerns, but it requires you to get out of your vehicle to deal with them. Which is the last thing you usually want to do. Get off my screen. All systems online. There's one on the tail right now. Got a lot of them off at least. Oopsie. You're the one that was about to break, right? Yeah, you are. I knew it. Alright. We're in pure exploration mode at the moment, because I am trying to find a place, and I don't know what it looks like, or how to find it, or where to look for it, really. But I know it exists somewhere. Somewhere where I can go lower. But maybe that direction, where it just go towards where it gets deeper. And I'm exploring while there's a horrible monster in the area somewhere, which might attack me at any moment. While I can't see through line of sight and all that. Hey, buddy. I thought that was it for a second there. I'm like, oh, God, it's so close. But it's just one of those guys. Where is he? Man, you can hear leviathans from so much further than you can see them. Is these lava rivers. Oh, he's coming straight at me. Engine powering down. And he went through the wall. Okay, so stuff just flies through walls in this game, huh? Maybe that's their solution for how much trouble they have with terrain? Yeah, he just went through the wall for a bit and then came back. They probably just tell the AI... It, it probably just clips through everything in the game. And they just tell the AI to keep try to t try to keep it within a certain zone. That's probably how the game works, how it works there. 
which might have been the thing to do with the Leviathan, because the Leviathan really struggled with the geometry. It was like hitting itself and hitting the environment and hitting everything and didn't know where to go or how to interact with anything. So if the Leviathan could clip through everything, it, uh, I mean, the Ghost Leviathan, if that could clip through everything, it'd probably have less struggle in navigating all the time. Ooh, is that it? That's a drop off. How close is it? That close. Ooh, is it coming straight at me? Engine powering down. Whoa. Whoa, it shoots fire. Whoa, it shoots a lot. Whoa. Okay. It's right there. This is my best chance to do something really scary. Oh god. Oh god. Oh wow, it's so big. Please get hit by that. Jesus Christ, it's so big. Sea Dragon Leviathan. It's so... Oh my god. Quickly, 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 quickly. Just scan it. Just scan it. I don't want to be here anymore. Where's my vehicle? There we go. Oh, look how small my vehicle looks. It looks tiny. Oh, it's looking straight at me. I don't like this anymore. Uh, I, I really hope it doesn't know where I am right now, even though it's a giant pink, purple, glowy-ass vehicle. It's really big. That really sealed the deal on how big that thing is. It was so big that like I was watching the bullet go at it and being like, wait, when's it going to hit it? Because it was not reaching it. I'm like, oh my god, it's because it's so much further away and larger than I thought it was. Look at you, you're cool. Honestly, the arms make it less scary. Because it's like swimming, it's like paddling around with its webbed hands. Oh, I just got you all off, you assholes. Alright, let's read about the cool thing. Fauna. But first I'll make us read about something boring. Ha <laughs> Spadefish. A medium-sized herbivore found in deep waters. Single eye, observed swimming near the seabed where it can keep its one eye on predators in the water above it. Oh, that's clever. Also, geez. Also, the rings around the eye, like the eye bags in every direction, just showing how paranoid the creature is by default as a concept, because it just has a giant eye it uses to just be afraid all the time. It's me! This is me in fish form in this game. <laughs> just on the ground, paranoid, staring up in fear. Model green coloration. Commonly encountered in plant-rich environments, the spadefish is well adapted to hide amongst the vegetation. Behavior. Spadefish tend to move in loose shoals, and despite their low speed, will take necessary measures to avoid confirmed predators. Edible. Sea Dragon Leviathan. Look at him with the arms. Look at that. Huh. A colossal leviathan with reptilian features. Seen stalking the very heart of the volcanic crater which underpins life in this area. A scanned specimen measured 112 meters in length. Heat proof tissue. Tissue analysis reveals that this specimen consists of one third inanimate materials focused around the chest area. Consumption and retention of mineral substances may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperature. It even appears to be able to consume molten materials and expel them at its out adversaries. Forearms. It's so close and loud right now. Is it gonna fucking hit me? Look out! Oh my god! That was worth closing the menu for, wasn't it? Let's save in case I he bumps into me and I flip out and then I fall out of this thing somehow into the lava. I do not trust this thing to, to keep me inside of it. Dude, it was right here. I saw I saw the mini map. I'm like, that looks like it's my height and my rate my it looked like it was at my X and my Y. <laughs> Evolutionarily distinct forearms used for both propulsion and offensive purposes. Finding suggests evolutionary divergence from other species on the planet tens of millions of years ago. 
Sea dragon is likely one of the oldest species on the planet. Behavior. As the largest carnivorous species encountered on 4546B, almost everything is potential prey. With few substantial targets in the volcanic cave systems, the sea dragon likely ventures out into cooler waters to hunt other smaller leviathans, cornering them and forcing them deeper, where they are ultimately boiled alive. So that is what happened with the, the reaper just boils them to death because it can live here and they can't. It's so big and tough and scary and shoots fireballs, but despite all of that, instead of killing things directly, it just pulls them down here where they can't live. The sea dragon's size and restrictions of the cave systems they inhibit, inhabit suggest their population numbers are extremely low, perhaps in the single digits. While it is not unusual for the larger predators to sustain lower populations, it is possible the sea dragon's food sources have diminished over time. This species may be nearing extinction. Extreme threat. Avoid no costs. Look at you go. <sighs> Get off. Uh. Whoa, he's turning back around. You don't see me, right? Oh, he looked like he was looking straight at me. It's so big. It's so big that all sense of scale is just fucked. Is he coming right back? I just want to watch him for a while whenever he comes nearby. Look at you. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, did you just shoot yourself in the face? How'd that physics work? Or did he just randomly get attacked by one of the other really tiny shitty fish that also shoot fire? Huh! Okay, I'm just gonna hold on to this thing for a second. Cause I think it mo immobilizes me, I think, so I can't fall out. Okay, if you could, like, go away. I'm a little worried you're gonna, like, damage my vehicle. He's circling me direct- ooh. He's gonna come in for a side- oh, he's moving me. He's, like, batting me around. Oh, he didn't come into line of sight, because he went straight up. Wow, he doesn't even look that far away, but uh, this thing has him way up there. But he's so big you can't tell. Could you stop circling me? Is he interested in how many grubs are on me or something? He's out of range now. Okay, maybe he'll go away finally. I want to knock all those things off, but I, I have shit to deal with. Uh, let's take a look at my batteries. I'm getting ready to go into a deeper area. And I do not want to have to deal, deal with my power cells running out, so I'm going to do this maintenance right now. Alright, 75%. Uh, I'll, I'll let the 30 keep going. Yeah, unfortunately those things are fucking feasting on me. It's coming back. Could you go away? Oh. Can you believe he's that close and it's still not in range? That makes me really paranoid that if I turn around he'll be like right there. Wait, if I oh, if I turn the other way. So many meters to maintain. And now I'm ready to go. I'm like, come on, meters. Be ready for the trip, please. How close is he? Oh, he's coming right here. Do you wander off for a bit? Please? So it says around the chest area and places like that, it straight up has, like, non-living tissue. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> what do you mean up? I said down. What? How did I just power it up twice? Uh, minimum... We're gonna go minimum speed. I just, I just gotta get out of its range before it notices me again. It never really noticed me yet, actually, but you know what I mean. Please don't notice me. It's really high up above me, evidently. Go away. Or eat these off of me, please. If you don't mind. Alright, he's out of the height range. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's leaving. Cool. Uh... I can look around a little bit to figure out my space. Oh, I'm touching the earth. I need my cameras to navigate, but I don't want to use my cameras when it's nearby because I want to tell how close it is to me. Because I'm scared. 
Alright. Let's rotate away from... No, I'm not... No, none of me is facing lava right now. That's good. New song? Still warpers down here, huh? Man. I, I unfortunately would not expect to even be able to survive down here if I got out. It's just lava right there. So, like, what do I do with these guys? They're just on me everywhere. Do I just gotta live with them? I keep hoping the sharks will just eat them off of me. And they're not doing a good job. Whoa. Whoa. What? What? Hang on a second. Herbivores... Large. No, not herbivores. Carnivores. The river prowler. Lava lizard. Lava lizard had little arm fins and a mag magma back. What are those guys? They had like whole arms, didn't they? Where'd they go? They're gone. Wait, is that the bloodsucker over there? Yeah, look at those guys. Are the Ah No, that's that's a lava lizard. <clears throat> Was that what is that what I saw a second ago? I thought it had longer arms. I almost thought it was like a baby version of the other one. No, those are lava lizards. Oh, look at that. Uh... I am what you see. Want to help you. Um... Is that the sea emperor? It looks like a sea dragon, kind of, but not really. It has like mega tentacles and other major differences in appearance. Is there another one down here? I'm still hearing the roars, but those could just be from there. How close am I to the lava? This is the screw, right? Yeah, because we're not that close. I don't know how worried I need to be about lava damage. It's the, that's a giant ass ion cube, so if I want more ion cubes, there they are. The resources are here. I don't know, I hear... I hear dragon, I don't see dragon. It might be the one upstairs. Okay, Warper, go away. I know you can't- why are you- are you shooting at me? I thought you couldn't get me. Wait, is it going after that? Is it going after the one on my dash? <gasps> oh shit, there he is. There's one. Okay. 74% power. Oh my god. Man, they know how to raise the stakes. I think it's going after the one on my dash, because it's infected, right? On my dash, I say. What's with the squares? I think that's the chunks not loading correctly? Yeah. Oh, that's not an ion cube, that's an HQ. That's how big that is. Look at this place. Yeah, the, lo the chunks are loading in, is and they're turning more into, like, bo boundaries between the solid and the liquid. As opposed to the- pr ah. There's a lot of things moving on the screen right now, and the game's not handling it. Yeah, there's- there's the dragon. You see me? Engine powering down. 
not risk that. Whoa, how did you shoot at that angle? <laughs> that did not make sense, but you guys look cool. See, uh... That's a really good design. Okay, calm down. God, they're so bad at eating them off of me. I wish they did a better job. I'm covered in these things, and those things- and those guys are not helping. Can I take the power cells out? Oh god, that chugging. Alright. So I'm right up at the door now. We're gonna power off. You're just gonna live here for a bit. I'm gonna try to rip all of my power cells out if I can. Aha! That's the thing to do. Here's how you battle against the decay of idleness. You can't eat my power now, can you? Oh my god, you're inside of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. How dare you. You don't belong here. They all actually leave. That actually works. Ha! Huh? That's how you get them to all go away without having to clear them it all out yourself. Okay, you just rip them all out. There's no power source in here, so they just leave. Cool. I'm gonna leave the power cells in here in the meantime. They are rubbing all up on the sides of my ship right now. Alright, let's eat. And check out this facility. Yeah, if there's a- if there was a creep- oh, uh, We're moving a lot right now. Whoa, look how many of them there were! That's all the ones that were stuck on me? Oh, I think that means the moment I- That probably means the moment I put the power back in, they're all gonna come after me. But it also means I could just go out there and stab them all, and they're all in a pile. So that's tempting. Is it the same creature or not? That is the lava thing, right? I think I just keep noticing new details about it that make me question whether it's the same thing or not. Where is the sea dragon? I guess it's not nearby. Alright. I'm gonna go chop those dudes up. Oh, if I have no if I have no power in here, <laughs> then I suffocate. That's worth noting. Really quick before I go back out. Ow, my health. Not really my health though. My health's mostly fine. An attempt was made. There we go. I think they cleared a lot of them out. Yeah, I hit them all at least once, so they kind of scattered a bit. Some of them will... It will tri no, they probably won't come back because I have no power production. Cool. And I might have some chance to escape when I... Ah, whoa. I might have some chance to escape when I come back because they've all left the spot. Whereas, because they normally come right back when you hit them, they, they, they run away, then they come right back. But they won't come back right- they won't come right back now because of the fact that they, uh, there's nothing for them to cling on to. And I, and with this, I've got my oxygen production back. I should have grabbed the tablet, goddammit. And of course, I don't even need oxygen production because, you know, that. Yeah, so tablet. Alright. 
All right, let's just put you back. <laughs> this thing creates its own air. Oh, I see. Um, should I be worried about that? Okay. I think no power means that this thing won't even let my prawn suit come back. I think the door won't open. Uh... I'll deal with that later. I'm just gonna take my blue tablet and go. I guess I'll take the prawn suit in inside with me so it's safe. Are those things the sanctuaries? I wonder if there's stuff in them or not. I don't know. I'll take you in here so you're safe. For now. That seems like the way to go. I think the door won't open because it's not powered. Although the other one opened. I mean... A concession? Realistically, nothing would open on that thing because there's no power left in it, but then that would be doomed and wouldn't be able to get back inside my Cyclops. So it's probably best if they don't literally lock me out. 